Sometimes you have to trust your gut instincts. Am I wrong for leaving my husband over his obsession with his former nanny? I, a 35-year-old woman, have been married to my husband, Ben, who is 42, for five years. We have a beautiful four-year-old son named Chad. From the outside, our life probably looked perfect. Nice house, good jobs, a happy little family. But there's been one constant shadow over my marriage, Ben's weird attachment to his former nanny, Barbara. I've always sensed something was off about their relationship, and now it's become impossible to ignore. When Chad was born, I planned to take time off work to be a full-time mom for a while. I was excited to bond with my baby and take on all the challenges that come with being a new parent. But Ben immediately started pushing for Barbara to come and live with us to help out. Barbara is only 10 years older than Ben, and she was his nanny when he was younger. He swears she's like family to him, but the way they act around each other doesn't sit right with me. For starters, they're overly affectionate with each other. I've caught them sitting way too close on the couch, practically cuddling. Once I walked in on them and his arm was around her shoulder while they were laughing together. When they noticed me, they quickly jumped apart, like teenagers who got caught doing something they shouldn't. That wasn't all. There were other intimate things they did that left me feeling like the odd one out in my own marriage. Barbara always had a key to our house, even when there was no need for it. She'd come over unannounced, sometimes with groceries or baked goods, and Ben would light up like she was his long-lost love. He'd also take phone calls from her late at night with their conversations full of inside jokes that I was never part of. It was clear they shared something deeper than just an employer-nanny relationship. Then there was the way she constantly gave Ben advice about me and how we should raise Chad. She'd undermine me saying things like, oh, when I raised Ben, I always did this, or I know Ben better than anyone. You should really listen to me. Ben would hang on to her every word like she was the ultimate authority on everything, which only deepened my unease. The final straw came when Ben kept insisting Barbara move in with us to help raise Chad. I made it clear from the beginning that I didn't want a nanny. I wanted to be the one to take care of my son, and I didn't need anyone, especially not her, getting in the way. I was firm about it, telling Ben, it's either me or Barbara, you can't have both. I thought that was the end of it, but then one day I came home to find Barbara sitting in our living room with her bags neatly stacked by the front door. Ben had moved her in anyway as a surprise. That was it for me. I packed my things, took Chad and left for my parents' house. I couldn't believe he had crossed that line after I made it crystal clear that I wasn't comfortable with Barbara being in our home, especially under the same roof, raising our son. Now I'm staying with my parents trying to figure out what to do. The weird part is, even though my dad agrees with me, he thinks Barbara is, well, weird AF in his words, my mom has been telling me I'm overreacting. She thinks it's unrealistic for me to expect Ben to cut Barbara out of his life when she's been part of his upbringing. But I don't see it that way. This isn't just some old family friend. This is a woman who has clearly crossed boundaries and I've always had the nagging feeling that there's something more between them than they're willing to admit. My mom keeps saying that I should be more understanding, that Barbara is just part of Ben's past and I shouldn't feel threatened by her presence. But how can I not? I'm his wife, the mother of his child, and I feel like I'm being pushed aside for this more than a nanny figure who seems to have a deeper hold on him than I ever realized. Even if there's no physical affair, the emotional dynamic between them feels wrong. I've tried to explain this to my mom, but she keeps brushing it off, saying I'm being too dramatic. My dad, on the other hand, has always felt uneasy about Barbara. He's told me multiple times that it's not normal for a grown man to be so attached to his former nanny, especially one who acts more like a partner than a family friend. He agrees that I shouldn't have to put up with this and that Ben's disregard for my feelings is a major red flag. I keep going back and forth in my head. Am I really being unrealistic or is this a deal breaker? I want to raise my son in a loving, stable home, but how can I do that when I feel like there's a third person in my marriage, one who has more influence over my husband than I do? I can't ignore the emotional manipulation that seems to be going on. 
Ben has always put Barbara on a pedestal, and the fact that he moved her in without even consulting me feels like a huge betrayal. I'm wondering if I'm wrong for ending my marriage over this. Maybe it's all in my head and Barbara's just a close friend. But then again, I can't shake the feeling that if I stay, I'll always be second to her. So, am I wrong for drawing a hard line and refusing to live with a woman who feels like more than just a nanny? Should I have given Ben an ultimatum in the first place, or did I do the right thing by taking a stand?